Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Gravity Forms to let visitors submit content and have that content appear on a web page. So recently, uh, a person has passed away. Let's assume that uh, recently a person has passed away and then you want to have a website in which uh, friends and family of that person can, can visit and you know leave their name their message and uh, uh, optionally upload a few images and files and then once these are submitted the website owner will should be able to review these entries and then once he or she approves them these entries will appear on a web page like this so we can do this using gravity forms and a plugin for gravity forms uh, that will allow us to that will allow the visitors to uh, post into a custom post type. Okay, so what I have done first is I've used a plugin called Easy Content Types uh, to create a custom post type called Memories. And you can use any plugin for this, like uh, custom post types, UI, or anything else. So I've just given it a name of uh, memories as the CPT name, the single uh, being memory and the plural label being memories. And I've entered a menu icon so that that menu icon will appear here. And then I have uh, created a form in Gravity Forms. Oh no, before that, I have installed a plugin called Gravity Forms to custom post type. So this is a free plugin, just uh, install this and this will basically allow us to uh, set the form such that the visitors can post to CPT. Okay, so let me show you how I have set up the form. Okay, so uh, this name field what you see here is basically the one which is under post fields and title. I have renamed that uh, title as your name and I made it a mandatory field. And this is nothing but a, that would be the body field here. I've changed it to your thoughts and I have dragged three image fields onto the form and I've added one more field for uh, I think it's under standard fields or advanced fields yeah so under advanced fields there is a file upload field I've dragged that and the most important thing is that you need to um, Go to advanced and put a check mark next to save as post type and select the CPT that has been created earlier. So all the entries that visitors fill in will be sent to this CPT. So once somebody comes to the form, he will sub he fills these fields and submits the form they will be under memories and here they will be under draft status so you can quickly review them and then publish them and once they are published they will automatically appear here okay so I made a change in the file called archive-memories.php this is the template file which uh, has the code that will be used by the content module in the content area. So a few changes that I've done here is that initially the title will be a hyperlink to the individual entry. So if somebody clicks on uh, the title, it would take them to that single entry. But since I don't want that in this case, I've uh, just removed the hyperlink and I've added this label submitted by with a colon and just the title of the 
um, entry. And this is the other addition that I have done to this file. Uh, we are basically uh, displaying the all the images that are there in the gallery of this particular entry. So without that, this, these images will not appear. Okay. And of course, I've done uh, little styling to basically uh, set the width of gallery item wrapper to auto with an important uh, declaration. Otherwise, the images will just uh, be very large. You can see it here, like that. So they look kind of out of proportion. So this could be uh, theme specific. And I have also, as you go, when you go to add your memories, you can see that uh, the navigation menu item is highlighted. It shows that that is the current active page in which you are. But um, without the CSS code that you see here at the end, that, that will not work the same way with list of memories. So I basically hard coded saying that when somebody is on the archive memories or memories post type archive page, look at this menu item that would be that would be that menu item and within that we have the A that is the anchor link, hyperlink. So I've just basically set the background to the same background as what is there here on hover or active and that's the CSS I've added.